Nearly 25 years after wolves were reintroduced to central Idaho, they are setting new records for killing livestock. Wolves killed a record number of cattle and sheep in the last two years. They also killed farm animals such as horses, goats, and llamas. These were just the confirmed kills. The record number of wolf kills suggests that existing wolf management could be more aggressive to reduce wolf numbers in problem areas, ranchers and landowners say. You know, the wolf has to be scared of something, you know, and right now they're not really scared of anything. Wolf populations have spread throughout the state of Idaho north of Interstate 84, and they continue to grow beyond the state's borders into Oregon, Washington, and California. Each dot on the map indicates an active wolf pack. Idaho Fish and Game estimates there are 80 to 100 wolf packs in Idaho minimum, and that roughly translates to at least 800 to 1,000 wolves living in Idaho north of Interstate 84. Since 1995, wolves have killed more than 982 cattle, 3,150 sheep, and 53 guard dogs, causing $1.6 million in damages and impacting 435 ranchers statewide. Smaller numbers of llamas, border collies, horses, goats, and other animals have been killed by wolves as well. Wolves are killing livestock and other animals in eight counties that have chronic wolf depredation year after year. Lemhi, Custer, Valley, Adams, Boise, Idaho, Elmore, and Washington counties. A key issue is figuring out how to manage wolves without causing undue harm to ranchers and the rural Idaho economy, experts say. The public said that we wanted, we wanted these apex predators back with the promise that they'd stay in certain areas, well, they don't know any boundaries and the economics and apex predators don't mix. The genie is out of the bottle and wolves continue to expand in Idaho. The main challenge now is how to manage wolves in ag wildland areas where the majority of wolves and their prey live today. The story of wolf recovery in Idaho is largely a story about broken promises, unfunded mandates, and challenging wildlife management. Wolves were supposed to stay inside the central Idaho wilderness, but they didn't. Wolves were supposed to be delisted from the Endangered Species Act after 10 breeding pairs recolonized the central Idaho wilderness, but they weren't. Wolf numbers exploded in Idaho and continue to grow as the animals reproduce at a rate of 30 to 40 percent per year. And the fact of the matter is, there's still more wolves born every spring than what we harvest, have ever harvested in any given season. If you look at what the original 95 plan called for, those best scientists on the ground projected that we would only have couple of hundred wolves and that they would only exist in Yellowstone Park and in the Frank Church and Backcountry Wilderness area. That is so far exceeded and we had that done within six or seven years uh, and, and we've exceeded that. And so since that time everything we put on paper in 95 was sort of out the window and we've been chasing this ever since. I think Idaho's done a very good job being proactive, but we've also seen a, a very drastic expansion of wolves. And so uh, as that happens, the, the plans have to change, the plans have to be updated, and, and new resources and tactics have to be uh, used to, to try to fix that population.